Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Weekly Tools. Today, we're diving into the world of car diagnostics to tackle a common issue that many of you might have encountered the dreaded P0352 code. This code specifically points to a problem with the ignition coil B, primary or secondary circuit. But fear not, because we're going to walk you through the steps to diagnose and fix it. Let's get started. First things first, let's understand what the P0352 code means. It indicates a malfunction in the ignition coil for cylinder B. This can lead to engine misfires, rough, idling, and a decrease in overall performance. But don't worry, we're here to help you get your car back in top shape. Causes of P0352 There are several potential causes for this code. The faulty ignition coil. Imagine a tired battery. That's what a bad coil does delivering weak sparks that can't ignite the fuel properly. The worn-out spark plugs picture damp matches they just won't light the fire. Old plugs can't create the strong sparks needed for combustion. The wiring gremlins think of frayed wires like a bad connection on your phone. They disrupt the electrical flow, causing misfires and PO352. The vacuum leak, this sneaky villain pulls in unmetered air, messing with the fuel air ratio and causing all sorts of engine hiccups, including P0352. Now let's fixing this issue. 1. Gather tools and safety gear. Before we begin, make sure you have the necessary tools and safety gear. You'll need a code reader or scanner, a multimeter, a set of screwdrivers, and, of course, safety, gloves and eye protection. 2. Locate ignition coil B. Now, let's locate the ignition coil for cylinder B. Consult your vehicle's repair manual or use online resources to find the specific location. In most cars, it's part of the ignition coil pack, usually found near the engine. 3. Inspect wiring and connections. With the engine turned off, visually inspect the wiring and connections to the ignition coil. Look for any frayed wires, loose connections, or visible damage. Make sure everything is securely in place. 4. Test the ignition coil. Now, it's time to test the ignition coil. Use a multimeter to check the resistance between the primary and secondary terminals. Compare the readings to the specifications in your vehicle's repair manual. If the readings are off, it may indicate a faulty ignition coil. 5. Check for spark. To further diagnose the issue, you can check for spark. Remove the spark plug from Cylinder B, reconnect it to the ignition coil, and ground the spark plug against the engine. Start the engine and look for a consistent spark. No spark or irregular sparking could indicate a problem with the ignition coil. 6. Replace the ignition coil. If your tests confirm a faulty ignition coil, it's time to replace it. Disconnect the battery, remove the old coil, and install the new one. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and torque specifications. And there you have it a step-by-step -step guide on how to diagnose and fix the P0352 code related to the ignition coil B primary or secondary circuit. Remember, if you're unsure or uncomfortable with these steps, it's always a good idea to consult a professional mechanic. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and Happy wrenching!